the choices you made, did you make them again? Again, again, again. All the lies that you told, did you believe in them? All the choices you made, did you make them again? again, 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 again. Keep getting questions from people who want to know how you can spray oil-based paint through your spray gun. What do you have to do to prepare your spray gun to protect it? Well, the only thing that I do, and I've been doing this for a lot of years, I've never ever had an issue with a spray gun buggering up by using acrylic. Now this spray gun here, I've just, the GX19, it doesn't matter which spray gun you use, it still all applies. Now I've just finished spraying my ceilings with that yesterday. The only thing that I've done is wash that out in water at this stage. So it's sitting there ready for its next job. Okay, I'm now going to spray, I'll show you, this super enamel Dulux through this spray gun to do my doors. Um, so you wonder how I'm going to do it. Now what I do, I'm, as you know, I'm a recycle kind of man. So whenever I use terps, diesel, anything like that on my job site, I always feed it back into these old Terps bottles. So I will have a few of these floating around full. When they fill up in the ute, I'll put them next to the shed. All the sediment will go to the bottom, okay? All your sediment will go to the bottom. So if it's full of crap, over a period of time, the only thing you'll have up on the top is the clean stuff. You can strain it if you want, I don't bother. Okay, now when you're spraying oil-based paints, you should always have your, your spray gun earthed. That's something that you should learn about. Um, so what I make sure I always do, I always use a metal pot. I don't use a plastic pot. So I always use a metal pot. Now what I've done is I've just poured this old terps. Now it can be anything. It doesn't matter, you know, what color or anything. So, I've just poured that into that metal pot, right? From then, they haven't seen me, I've only just arrived, I haven't done anything else. I'll make myself a bit of room here. So there's nothing left in this gun. I push that out of the way. I get the old turps and diesel that's mixed together, and I'll run it through that gun first to able to um, get a coating of this stuff inside my spray gun. I'll just prime that through. Now that yucky crap is running through my gun. We just got a splash of paint on the camera. Now I'll get the hose, which has water in it at this moment. I'll flick that on spray. Take my handpiece, pump some water through. Get rid of all the water out of this line hose. Now before the old turp starts to come out, I'll, I'll take note, I'll be very careful. Okay, we've got the colour coming out now. So I'll just put it back in here and run it through. And 
what that does, if you've got any acrylic paint inside your spray line, your hose, inside your gun, this puts a coat of oil or um, terps, you know, diesel-y stuff over your gun. So when you run the oil-based paint through it now, the oil base doesn't stick to the old acrylic. Well, that's my theory anyhow. So we've got a, uh, a 12 mil um, microfiber roller. This is pure paint. Here we take our paint out first. And because I'm going to be brushing this, I need to put a little bit of lubricant in there. It'll have to be stirred. Basically, just take this out here, prime it again. run it through the gun. ready to spray with. We'll just put a new tip on. Oh. Brand new 311 Wagner tip in there. And that's it. Load that up. You can use any size really. Don't let anybody tell you any different. The main reason I spray these inserts is to save wear and tear on my shoulder, otherwise I'd rather do them by hand. And um, it, it just gives a nice layered finish in the center there. And it really does save my shoulder. So if you watch one of my old videos uh, where I actually do these by hand, a lot of pressure on your shoulder. All the choices you made, did you make them again? again? Did you make them again? again.